Hi, um, this is a video response to Fior um, regarding your uh, transsexual dating video. This is the first video that I've ever done for YouTube, so I'm sorry if I seem a little bit nervous uh, and the lighting's not very good. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, offer my own experiences as uh, I certainly have got a lot of uh, help and support just through looking at other people's uh, videos on YouTube in the same situation as me. And I think it's important that we put ourselves out there and you know let other girls know that we're going through the same thing too and that it is okay that you can get through it and all that sort of thing. But um, yeah, as regards to these sort of um, cowardly males, I had a lot of experience of those too. And I used to think it was acceptable. There was... Uh, there was one guy, and he um, he had sex with a couple of my friends, and he fancied me, and um, I liked him as well. My friends are transsexual, so I knew that he would um, not have a problem with that. Um, and he's a bouncer at a nightclub, and he was stood outside with all his bouncer friends, blah blah blah. And my friend was going into the club, and I said, "Oh, would you give me my phone number?" So she went in and said, oh, you know, that's the number for my friend over there and pointed to me. And he looked and all the other bouncers obviously like, oh, that's that tranny, blah, blah, blah. Because uh, they knew me in the town where I came from. It's quite a small town. And he was like, oh, you know, um, didn't accept the number. But then when she came back out, um, he just quickly took her to one side and took the number off her. And uh, I thought that was acceptable um, but basically he didn't want his friends to know you know that he was attracted to transsexuals and I went with him a few times um, got to know him a bit I used to go around his house and one time I went around his house when nobody was in and one of his housemates came back who was another doorman and um, he was like, oh shit, um, my housemate's in the kitchen, I don't want him to see you, and all this and that. And I was like, well, I don't, do I look bad, do I look like a tranny? He's like, no, but they might recognise you, um, and all this and that. So he went down and he shut the door and just snuck me out and just treated me like a little dirty secret. And then something changed in me that day, and I thought, do you know what, if, if you're ashamed of having sex with me, then don't have sex with me. Um... And that equally applies to dating. If you're ashamed to go out and associate with transsexuals, w why do you want to meet me? You know, I have guys contact me on the internet saying that they'd like to, you know, um, meet up with me. They really like me. They'd like to go out with me and all that sort of thing. I had a guy who lives downstairs from me and he wanted to go out with me. But they're all, well, I say to them, oh, so you're ready to date a transsexual then? And, you know, they go, yeah, of course I am. And I'm like, so you don't mind your friends knowing? Um, and they're like, oh no, but they don't have to know, we, we just won't tell them. Um, or you just never get introduced to them, or, you know, they take you to pubs, they're never going to see them and stuff. And it's it's just not on really. And um, I demand respect now with my relations with men. And luckily I found a man that um, respects me and isn't ashamed of me, is very open about who I am because I've told him that that's how I'd like to play it um, there are many girls who like to keep it a secret and go for the stealth option that's fine whatever you want to do but for me personally I don't want to feel paranoid about people finding out and at the end of the day I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of so why shouldn't we be open so he's been really open and it's the 21st century you know none of his friends are bothered I'd have just been a bit taken aback maybe and just like oh 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 good on you you know good good for you and I just wanted to share my experience because I was in a really bad place last year and I was convinced that people in my situation would be on their own for a long time and that you know we couldn't fall in love and all those sort of things and it can be really negative sometimes and you think oh you know it's so hard to find people anyway in the world um but I just wanted to put the message out there that if, if you do demand respect and you don't let people take advantage of you or just use you for sex or treat you like a dirty little secret, then you will start attracting a better class of man and they are out there and it's so hard to find them. But at the end of the day, you have to demand respect from people and 
if they're not giving it to you, then you know, don't don't mess with them. And and the more that we as transsexual women and trans men, presumably as well, say no, I'm not going to put up with the second rate treatment, the less it will be okay for people to get away with it. But <coughs> I'm going to shut up now because I've probably been going on for too long. But I just wanted to share my positive experience with you. Oh, actually. Um, Here's me and my boyfriend. It's a bit cheesy, isn't it? But as you can see, we are blissfully happy. So, uh, take care, y'all. Bye.